Bonjour everyone, uh, greetings again. Bonjour tout le monde. Good evening, whatever time it is for you. Thank you for watching. So I wanted to use this vlog to tell you about what I did last weekend and also what I did today. On Friday, I had dinner in town with Meredith. We had a really good dinner at London Pub. And then she said, oh, there's a salsa and bachata event going on. Do you want to go? It was so much fun. I got to meet Meredith's friend, Rodolfo. And we started the evening off with a salsa and then a bachata lesson. After that, it was kind of like a concert slash dance. So there was a band playing. fun, though it's not easy to vlog and cha-cha at the same time. It was a really fun night. Salsa, bachata, cha-cha. I met some cool people there and it was really awesome. And then Sunday, last night, I went to a club in Avro with Meredith. Kind of like a Latin music mix club DJ night. Um, either It was fun. It wasn't as fun as Friday night, but it was good to meet more of Meredith's friends. Today, my landlords, one of my housemates and I, we took an afternoon trip. We started the trip off at the Chateau d'Arcourt. It is a really beautiful medieval castle in Arcourt, which is not too far from Avra. Check out this tree, it's huge. So right now we are in Arcourt. We are going to check out the chateau here. Beautiful. There was a moat here. I'm trying to imagine what this place used to look like. One thing I really love about Normandy is that it looks absolutely, well, I think it looks beautiful on a rainy day. Some people might disagree, but I love Normandy. 
this is probably the biggest tree stump I've ever seen in my life. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Check out these grounds. They're absolutely beautiful. Lots of green space. Oh my god. Look at this. Whoa. That's an interesting shape of tree I've ever seen. Holy cow. I love that place. The grounds were huge and it was absolutely gorgeous. Trees and plants from different parts of the world. I love the chateau. I absolutely love it. I also love the area surrounding it. It kind of made me feel like I was in the enchanted forest from once upon a time. And then after the Chateau d'Arcourt, we drove to Le Bec et Le Oin. Le Bec et Le Oin is on the list of the most beautiful villages of France. Le Bec et Le Oin has an abbey, so once we got to Bec et Le Oin, we walked around the abbey. We are about to go to the Bec et Le Oin abbey, and here's the really impressive tower. And I think that that's the abbey over there. So we're walking to the abbey right now. Um, there was a car behind me, so I got out of the way. And then all I, I saw two nuns driving the car, and all I said was, nuns, look. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's a beautiful place. It's actually, uh, Le Bec et Loin is on the list of the most beautiful villages of France. So it's pretty cool that it's not far from Evreux. This is the abbey. It's huge. Look at this tower. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Then we went into the Abbey gift shop. They had some really, really nice things in that shop. Really beautiful china, things like that. Awesome. Specialties from the region, they're pretty cool. Some candy, and candles. More candles here. I think the candles are made by uh, the nuns. I'm not sure. Some other cool stuff. Got some pretty fancy olive oil here. Fancy. Jam, syrup. I actually got my own bag of some goodies here. I bought some jam, cookies, and some chocolate. And all of these products, they weren't made by the people in the Abbey, but they were made by a monastery somewhere in France. After taking a walk around the Abbey, we decided to walk around the center of the village for a bit. It's absolutely beautiful. We are in one of the most beautiful villages of France, the Big Inland. So right now we're just looking around the village of Le Bec et Loin. It's really beautiful. You can see why they put it on the list. Uh... 
then when we left Beck Illinois, we actually made a surprise stop. My landlady drove to the Chateau du Champ de Bataille, but unfortunately when we got there, the chateau was closed, but I'll show you some footage because it is a very beautiful chateau. Hey, I have a surprise for you. Well, it's a surprise for me too because I didn't know we were coming here. We are at the Chateau de Champ de Bataille. I think that's what it's called. We'll show you some footage. The weather wasn't perfect, but it was still nice to get out of the house, take a drive, and look around. This will be my last video for this week, um, because on Thursday I will be flying to Scotland! So once I get back from Scotland, I will post a video or maybe more than one video from my trip. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, à bientôt!